yeah. lot of people don't know, man. Big Y has deep roots in the hip hop culture, man, the West look, Coast. Like I call him the uh, the James Earl Jones of the rap game. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Like you know, we always give our props to Denzel, and we give our props to uh, you know the. the, the uh, you know, Don Cheeto, the top little, you know, actors or whatever. But we don't give our props to the Don, the, the James Earl Joneses. Yeah. The peoples that been around. Yeah. That get them quality roles, that play that role in the movie where it's like that narrative, you have to fuck with it role. Yeah. We don't give them that credit. Big Wise, a James Earl Jones of the rap game. Okay. If you was able to dictate what he been doing since banging on wax and young soldiers all the way up from relatives up to now, the executive moves, the county swag, the this, the that, hey man, the boy been moving. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. And you gotta give him that type of respect. Whether you know it or not, some things go on behind the, the scenes. I'm able to be in the loop. Yeah. So I'm gonna give my T the respect that he deserves because of the effort that he put in. Some people might not be able to see the effort. I was here for the alligator. I was here for the young soldiers. I was here for the Maria and the relatives first run yeah. and the second run. You feel what I'm saying? I was here for the banging on wax. I was here for the Cali Swag District. I was here for the whatever. I was here for the Fig Newton. Yeah. When, a nigga, when he told me, hey man, don't bust this move, bust this move. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's right, big homie. I, you was right. You feel what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not big, too big to say, hey, man, I took some advice from this man and, and made some better moves off the mistakes that he made. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So me, I'm always at a, a level of appreciation for why. Because he gave me a blueprint on at least the first five moves I'm supposed to make. You feel what I'm saying? He gave me a, yeah, hey, bro, this is what you supposed to do. And he ain't never stepped back from supporting me. So, yeah, the big homie. Let's talk about your projects got, you got coming up. Why don't you tell us about some of those? Uh, shit, man. What's next on the list is uh, You Fig Me Too. That's coming as soon as possible. You know, motherfucker going through some personal situations and shit. But uh, they're finna get it put out absolutely, uh, if not December of 18, January of 19. You feel what I'm saying? After, uh, now let me back up. I got We Started the Whoop that's out right now streaming. For sure, gonna get that, volume one, tapped in. I got 15 different artists on there, including myself. Uh, that's uh, surveying my neighborhood from LA to Pasadena, and it's giving off different flavors and different. Uh, you know, tempos of uh, people that's doing their thing up on my section. That was my way of uh, really putting my neighborhood on the platform and showing, the, you know, the talent that we got over here. Uh, the next thing on the list is You Fig Me Too. That's coming out before the end of this year or the top of next year. Uh, after that, I got LA Times coming. LA Times is the album with that got all the features on it. You feel me? I felt like I had to get my, um, I had to feel like I had to get my place in, in this music before I started doing music with other people. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's easy for people to uh, come out and acquire a feature and now they popping. But you use that man's buzz. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Or it's easy for a motherfucker to come out and pay for it, this, that, and the third. No, my, 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 my fan base is organic. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wanted them to accept me for who I am before I rap with somebody else. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So people ask me, hey man, why you ain't got no features? Or why you wanna do this? Yeah, because I want y'all to look at me first and tap into what I'm talking about before I add somebody else into the equation. Now that people is looking towards my direction, um, you know, I've acquired a couple of, you know, features. I got, on LA Times, I got one with RJ. Um, I got one with Joe Moses, Silky Slim, Killer Twine, you know, uh, most of your upcoming artists. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's 
finna break and make their moves. I'm one of the dudes that's finna break and make their moves. So I just been keeping my ear to the street and tapping into the people that I know I can use my influence to tap in and fuck with. But uh, yeah, LA Times coming with the features on it, and y'all gonna love that. You feel me? It's a, a city based around the city. You feel me? Our our sound, our feel, our wave. You feel me? A lot of artists is uh, jumping on the Atlanta wave, jumping on the auto tune wave, jumping on the the club wave. You feel what I'm saying? And we losing our authenticity. We losing what made us us due to us chasing that bag and running down what sounds good that's gonna get you played. You feel me? I'm more or less focused on what's gonna get me heard. Not get me played. Heard is different than played. Played is, yeah, we in the club, it came on, I was buzzing, but I don't know who that was. Heard is, hey, did you hear that new Fig Newton? Man, that nigga was talking about some shit. That nigga was talking about homies going to jail and, and, and why you ain't supposed to do this and what you supposed to be doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's more of a, you know what I'm saying, move than me than being played. You feel me? I'd rather be heard and understood. And a lot of the people in my community, especially up close out here in L.A., if you know me, you able to, you know, feel me and, and take my words, for, you know, with some validity. Yeah. You feel me? And kind of like, I know he know because he talking from a place of experience. And that gives the little, the little dudes that's trying to find their way yeah. kind of a road map. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And as far as our region and what we dealing with, that's what we need. We need more of the road maps for these young dudes opposed to... Uh, the lighter fluid on top of what's going on. Now, it's easy for a motherfucker to come spray some lighter fluid on a bad situation, but it take a bigger man to come in and kind of like square it away. Like, yeah. do that make sense to you? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Is that, is that going to be beneficial to you, what you're trying to do? Nah, I will kick back on that, G. You feel me? Because the motherfucker ain't really stepped on your toes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nowadays, it ain't like it used to be. So what they consider stepping on your toes ain't what it used to be. Yeah. What it used to be was somebody was dead. Are well, you mad because somebody on Instagram playing, talking crazy or dissing you? Well, I said the computer, bro. What, what your real life bank account look like? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it give a motherfucker a little way out on what's real and what's not. You feel what I'm saying? It's always cool to keep your eye open and keep a you know, watch on the streets, but at the same time, is you focusing on your life? You know what I mean? Is you putting that same passion that you're giving to throwing your life away towards putting your life together? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to whatever else a motherfucker got to offer for you. So, yeah. So if there's something the fans would want to know about Fig, what would it be? Uh, if something they want to know about me, it's more or less about what I want them to know about me, not what they want to know about me. And what I want to put out there is that uh, I'm a father, I'm a businessman, uh, I've gravitated to something different, you feel me? And I want the motivation to the youth and the young homies to gravitate to something different, you feel what I'm saying? Whatever it is, is your passion. Whatever you find, you know, that liking in, to take that time to put the information, get the information. You feel what I'm saying? I want them to take determination from me. I want them to take relentlessness from me. You feel what I'm saying? I've been somebody that been in that same position that I was able to accept eight years in prison and come back and bounce back in order to do what I want to do. So... Um, what I wanted to take from me is uh, to see that it's possible. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm at the pinnacle, but at the same time, I'm at, I ain't where I was. And I ain't satisfied with what I used to be. 
You feel what I'm saying? And I'm using my my resources and whatever uh, turmoil that I've been through and using it as gas to push me towards what I'm trying to do. Yeah. So if you take anything from Fig Newton, take the fact that I was just like you, you know, from the $50 double ups and to the, you know, the the show traps from the broad or whatever it is that you got going on, I was in that spot. Yeah. And take it and bubble it and flip it and move it and push it towards what's need to get done. And what the information that need to get passed on is do the information. You feel me? Do the necessary education. Go search out mentors. Go search out information. That's going to lead you to do what you need to do. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't want to give off a negative uh, vibe of what I'm doing. You feel me? Whether it's a key way or a blood, anybody who know me, they know what type of time I'm on. And my time is progressive. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. more or less about, you know, evolving, opposed to, you know, promoting the, the 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 lower level of it. You feel what I'm saying? So if a nigga get anything from me, it's uh entrepreneurship, ownership, uh uh relentlessness, uh, uh you can do it yourself. Cause I've been through the asking for help and people didn't want to help me. You feel what I'm saying? Didn't have faith in the moves that I was busting. You feel what I'm saying? But I have faith in myself. It might have took me a, a year or two longer than what I expected, but it can happen. So for what I'm trying to pass off to the next bro brother is, hey, bro, whatever you got going, if you stay down on it and, you know, do the necessary information, I'm getting the information and the knowledge, you can – Elevate whatever you got going on and don't take nobody. Yeah. That's what the message I'm passing on because everything I'm doing is off the hip. You know what I'm saying? With no assistance. You know what I'm saying? Only assistance I'm getting is real life love from the yeah. people who agree with what I got going on or is cohesive to what I got going on. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I appreciate you coming by, man. You got you got me motivated. I want to go outside and run a mile right now. <laughs> you got me motivated, man. Say that. Say so, that. So, uh, hey, man, we really appreciate you coming by the show, man. And, uh, you know, everybody go check out Fig Newton. Um, we started the Whoop. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's in, that's in the millions. FigNewton.com. Uh, tap in on that YouTube, man. Subscribe to Fig Newton. You know what I'm saying? And uh, tap in on whatever projects I got going. We started the Whoop Volume 1 in stores now. You figure me too, coming this month, and uh, LA Times will be uh, closely in the top of the year. This Fig Newton, man, you now watching Arby City TV.